Hello and welcome back. Now that we are working with Spark Streaming, today we will understand what is late arrival of data. We will also see what is the difference between event time and processing time. We will understand how Spark manages its state for aggregation. So we will understand how stateful processing is important in Spark Streaming. Now, if you have not seen our previous videos, I would recommend you to go back and watch our previous videos first. Today's session is going to be a bit in theory. So without any delay, let's begin. Now, in order to understand event time and processing time, let's consider a company manufactured devices to record temperature and places them in different geographical regions throughout the world. So, consider the company placed a device called D1 at New Delhi and a device called D2 in Sydney, Australia. Now, the company records the temperature through the devices continuously using Spark Streaming and the whole processing happens hourly. It calculates the average temperature for each of the devices hourly. So, you can see the windows on the screen. So, it can be 12 to 1, 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. Now, consider both the devices D1 and D2 produced some temperature data at 12.04. Now, the data is sent from D1 to Bangalore for processing. So, when the data was generated at New Delhi at 12.04, the data arrived at the Bangalore for processing at the same time, 0.12.4. But, the data generated at Sydney might not arrive and arrive a bit late at Bangalore for processing. So, consider the data arrived at 12.10. Now, at Bangalore, we are processing the data whenever it is arriving. So, that's processing time. So, now if we calculate the average for the data, both of them will arrive in the same window of 12 to 01. But, consider a case if because of some reason, the data from Sydney, because of geographical reason, arrives a late by 30 minutes or say 1 hour at Bangalore for processing. So, consider the data arrives at 1010. Now, in this case, this average calculation for this data with processing time will go to the second window, not to the first window. But if you see, this is wrong because the data was generated at 12.04. So, it should come within the same window of 12 to 01. But it has somehow been processed at 11.10. This is why it is coming to the second window. And this is where the difference between event time and processing time happens. So, in streaming applications, we always prefer to do aggregation based on event time, not on processing time. The reason is, in certain cases, because of late arrival of data, the processing time can make the windows different than the exact event time. And this can lead to miscalculations. I believe you understand the difference between the event time and the processing time now. Okay, now that we understand the difference between event time and processing time, let's understand what is stateful processing in Spark. Consider that we are now processing and calculating our average temperature based on the event time and not on processing time. Now, in order to make the aggregations work, Spark has to hold the state in its memory. So, whatever events are flowing for that window, Spark has to get that event based on the event time and do the calculation for average temperature. So, consider Spark is continuously doing its average temperature calculation till 5.06. But somehow, one of the events that was generated at 12.04 arrives late by 6 hours, say at 6.10. Now, since we are doing this calculation based on event time, Spark has to go back and update the window of 12 to 01 because this event was generated at 12.04. So, the average temperature for 12 to 01 will now be updated after 6 hours. But this is only 6 hours. Consider a case where an event arrives late by 2 days. So, is it feasible for Spark to hold this much of calculation in its memory? No. Somehow, it will run out of memory if it holds so much of state in its memory. And this is where the stateful processing comes into picture. In case of stateful processing, we have to define a timeout after which Spark will discard any events that will come late. So, consider we define any event that come after 2 hours, we will discard those events. So, Spark will hold up state until 2 hours. So, if this event arrive late by 2 hours, for example by 2, it will be processed. But it arrives late by more than 2 or 4, then Spark will automatically discard this event. And this logic of Spark is handled by utilizing watermarks. We will discuss about watermarks and different type of windows in our next session. I hope that you understood what is the main difference between event time and processing time, how Spark handles late data and what is stateful processing. Now, if it still sounds confusing to you, don't worry about it. We will see this with examples in our future session. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing, keep growing.